we're back on Peak Lee. We're going back to the house that was up for auction that I showed you in a couple of videos ago for £20,000. And guess how much the house has gone for? Here it is in front of us. We'll tell you right now. Oh, oh the rat's a bit squashed there. The rat's seen better days now. The rat has completely been eaten. But yes, this house has now gone for 47 thousand pounds to forty nine thousand pounds in auction just thought i'd let you know keep you updated how much houses are going for right let's start the video here we go back again with another video we're back with kino kino the jockey how you doing lad hi all right howdy folks you all right happy days we've just been to the piddly house went for 47 to forty nine thousand pounds can't quite remember i think it was forty seven thousand pounds and you've got to spend at least 30,000 to do it up. So for me, it's not worth that whatsoever. Thoughts on the house, Kino? Well, it's nowhere near where I thought I wouldn't have guessed. I mean, if it was in good nick. Aye. Uh, oh. The wind is out. I don't know what state it's in. Oh, it's completely good. No boiler. Radiators Absolutely are knackered. Good. Water <coughs> is ruined inside. We showed you in a previous video that one. Like I said before, if it had been in good state, good neighbourhood would have been okay. A lot of money to do up for me. I don't think it's worth it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We're off to the next village now. Where are we going? We'll show you in a bit. Let's do it, Kino. The day we're in an old hamlet village called Morton. Well, that's what it was called until they found some coal under a field and they changed it to Merton Colliery. Kino, how excited are you about going around Merton Colliery? Yeah, I spent a lot of my childhood here. That's how my mum was born. Oh, cool. Yeah, my nana and granddad lived at Merton. Uh, I used to stop over quite often, I uh, know quite a few of the streets. We're going to find where a movie was filmed, the old pub called, the movie's called The Old Oak, Ken Roach's latest movie out in the cinemas now, and it's in a pub somewhere down the main road. I'm not sure what it was called, but we'll find that one, Kino. I will find it. And also the cheapest property in Merton, and we'll have a look around Dalton Park, and we'll just generally go and find the best fish and chip shop kicking about here in Merton. Kino's got a hungry belly, haven't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might even buy the bloke a pint. <laughs> so, can you know we're in Dalton Park? Have you been in Dalton Park before? Loads of times. Oh, what's your favourite shop? Uh, I didn't mind uh, yeah, the shoe shops. Uh, shoe shops? Oh, shoe shops. I'll let you guess what my favourite shop is. We'll walk along now. I'm just looking at this there. Yeah. It's a plastic bottle. Yeah, where you put plastic bottles, I was wondering what it was. Oh, right. Waves of change. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a wheel. Yeah, it's a wheel. Ah, it's a wheel. I've a wheel of a time there. <laughs> There's some canny shops here in, in, in Dalton Park. Now, someone let me know in the comments down below when it was built, but I'm sure it was the early 2000 and maybe two, three. There's a canny sketches up there. I quite often pop into sketches. Sketches, yes. My yeah, favourite yeah, shop. as well as the Clarks. I got some good shows in there for Christmas. Did you? Brogues. Hi. Nice one. Some slip-ons. Yeah, they're not slip-ons, no. So no. Oh, yeah. Dancing shoes. It's broke slip-ons, I gather. I don't know. Hi, right, dancing uh, shoes. My favourite shop's up ahead. There's some, kind of, there's some good shops, like I say. You get a nice burger. Just around the corner, I think. Up, I think There's yeah. a Scorpy, Ropey, Scorpies there. It's a Sports Direct now. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a Sports Direct fan, to be yeah, fair. That's because it's Newcastle. It's really? quite, yeah, it's quite empty though, isn't it? Well, it used to be Newcastle and now he, he sold, didn't he? Unfortunately, he sold. I wish he never. Yeah, there's a... Uh, I was going to say, I must admit, whenever I come here, there's not loads of people kicking about. No, I know. And it's always the same. The more specialist shops here, oh, though, aren't they? Are, sort of. Uh, what's the word for them? What they're called? Designer? Designer. Designer? you got got... Yeah, uh, designer shops. Your, your designer... Like sports Direct. <laughs> designer <laughs> Sports Direct. Right. got your designer Longsdale. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's, um, here's some canny shops down here. Like. Radley from London there. You, you get your nice yeah. handbag there, Jody. I might do. I mean, uh, Kino, sorry. <laughs> yeah, what about Roman? You've got Roman nose on your cherry. Rings all over your face. Nice Roman candle. <laughs> Roman <laughs> candle. <laughs> See, I've got a big nose, like. Just a Didn't show me beds. I can't sleep. That's <laughs> It is class, isn't it? 
That's for the kit. Ah, here's my favourite shop. Uh, Chapel. I like a good Adidas shop. Yes, the Adidas shop's good. I sometimes get some gear now. I forgot to mention that one. I wonder if there's some good gear in today. Well, what along here? Just, well. just going past it. Tempted to go inside and have a look. I like, I like Adidas, like. Can have a look in? <laughs> you got to ask Adidas that's what? If you've got any Reebok stuff. Any Reebok stuff. So yeah, we're in the new Dalton Park here in Merton, which was, I think, was built somewhere around about 2001, 2002. Is this been here 20 years? I don't know. I know plans had started then, but I'm not sure exactly when it was built. Ah, Ooh, KFC. And you've got a sin world here. I love a good old cinema. You know, why has there been the cinema? And the Mackies. I wonder if that Ken Roach movie's on there now. It's called The Old Oak. Filmed in Merton and also Eason Colliery in parts of Horden and Blackhall. Ah. Happy days. I don't think Kano's a big Ken Roach fan though. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's all right, you might be watching. <laughs> Wait for me, Jordy. Yo, Kano. So, Kano. Wait for me, We've wife. seen over the recent weeks Horden, Eason Colliery, how the pit closed over those villages and how it affected the local community, the houses, the shops. Now we're in Merton. Merton pit closed back in 1991. Mm -hmm. Back in 1991. Let's see how it's affected the high street and the houses around here. Now we've got some interesting artwork here. Kindle's going to show you this now and explain what it's all about. <laughs> what? <laughs> so come on, Kino. Yeah. What is it? Interesting artwork. Well, it's just about the history of, history the, of the pit, yes. isn't it? The old pictures of the pit. You were right. Kino said about that going over to Dalton Park. By Dalton Park, yeah. Um, the flight's called Bombers. So that's. So Dalton Park would be which? Would be on, on the, the right. right hand side. Yeah, Dalton Park's on the right hand side, and then the aerial, used to, aerial flight used to go over yeah, and the dump the coal. Going, going across. Some good artwork here. I mentioned that. Yeah, you did. Some Excellent like the artwork. Banner. There's a banner from Merton. The NUM banner. Yeah. That's the only mine workers. And there's yours. The buses, buses are the buses on the buses yeah, the old one, I'm just going to say the old 150 used to go to play there where there's a 151 all right I'm, I'm sure it was a 150 back on the day what was his name on the buses called <laughs> <laughs> what was that oh that was not missing that <laughs> anyway there oh, we have it you <laughs> you're my, my guy <laughs> <laughs> oh, <didn't> you, <laughs> a bit of a Blakey. You he's just, my guy. <laughs> he gets blinked oh, yeah. on a Friday night. <laughs> right, we're gonna find the cheapest property in Merton now. The cheapest property. Yep. So we're here in Merton now. We're looking for Glenhurst Terrace. That is the cheapest property. The cheapest property up for fifteen thousand pound guide price. Kino, you've been dreaming about Merton lately. Yeah, not lately, but I used to have recurring dreams about Merton because I used to. Uh spend up my childhood here and one of them was I was just on the terrace and I had a pint in that one and a pint in that one a pint in that one uh, but there's no pubs there now so <laughs> I will be there it must have been an old dream <laughs> and there was pubs there now I've just every now and again every current James about the place there's a door there there's a nice door there there's a local shop fancy a door I think Glenhurst is not on this is this not Glenhurst on the main road here I'm so sure I guess what the local shop's called what is the local shop called, Kino? Oh, I guess. Oh, the local. Go local. <laughs> Go local. Now, I don't know if this is Glenhurst or the one across the road. I'm not familiar with Is it the one way. behind? We'll walk down this way. You may not buy the cenotaph. The cenotaph's No. There's some, there's some famous footballers from Merton, isn't there, Kino? Do you know any? Yeah, Paul Kitson. Paul Kitson, he was a year below me at school. Was he? Aye. Yeah, uh, there's Dickie Ord in there. Richard Ord was in the same year at me at school, went Richard to the Ord. same school as me. He's in, he's in Village Comprehensive School. Funny story, the Merton children and the Easton children used to go to the same school. So they didn't have a comprehensive school in Merton for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Richard Ord, ex Sunderland player. Yeah, he's a well-known supporter, I think he's called Gary Lamb. Gary Lamb, the well-known supporter. Yeah, somebody Lamb, he used to live up with St. Nana in uh, Hill Crescent. Ah, right. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the olden days. Back in the olden days, the, the pre-war days. Oh, champion, right. We're going to find this property right now. Let's keep walking. We've got Coronation, Coronation Street. Street. <laughs> 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 it's a fucking horrible yeah, show. Yeah, you've got to tap. 
And you've got to talk about Salvin X and because it's Corn Coronation Street South. Oh, Coronation Street South. So when we get to Coronation Street North, you've got to talk like a Woody Jordy man. Well, yeah, man, Kino. <laughs> yeah, but that's the South. Get a candy bag of tuna, Kino. Aye, but you would I climb a mountain. It's got to be this way, Coronation, Coronation Street. Yes. Yeah, well, it's, it's got to be there. I think it's the one behind here. <laughs> I, fucking, I, I fucking hate Coronation Street. Pardon me French, parlez-vous français. Uh, it's got to be this next street, I think. Port of Terrace, what I've just mentioned, Terry, that's where my Aunt Mary and Uncle Jack used to live. Oh, right, that's where Kino, his relations used to live here in Merton. Aye, my Aunt Mary and Uncle Jack used to live up on the right-hand side somewhere. What street did you live in, Merton, Kino? I didn't. No? What place did you do? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, your mum was born. No, my mum was born. Mum was yeah, my nanny used to live at Hill Crescent. Right. In Barnes Road, I fancy going to Hill Crescent just to see... You know where it is? Right, up there. I don't see Hill Crescent. Don't know where the house is for sale though, but we'll find another one somewhere. Here hear you walking down towards the avenue. Can you know an interesting story? This, this is where I got run over. <laughs> you got knocked over? Yeah, uh, the top of the terrace. And uh, your priorities across the road. Uh, they say my granddad and I ran into the side of a car and I got a fractured skull and I've never been right since mine so uh, don't use uh, see it, I'll set it first Absolutely nuts Yeah, uh, so anyway, uh, my mum and dad, uh, then was away in Spain because my dad had won a holiday because uh, he was like milkman of the year <laughs> and did, uh, they had won a holiday so when them come back uh, I was in hospital <laughs> and I spent quite a, quite a few days with a fractured skull, I was very lucky How old were you? I could have been still dead. How old were you? I'll, I'll, me me mum was pregnant without Kevin, so I was about three and a half. Oh, three and a half years old? Aye. Bloody hell. Looking to be alive, mate. Yeah, we'll go past where I haven't. Looking to be alive. Yeah. We'll... In the pit village. And yes, look. The first house to be boarded up or found. The first house to be boarded up or found. Oh, New one. builds on the left hand side. And a house here on Henry, Henry Street. Street North. Boarded up. So yeah, this is the first one I found in Merton. So I think it's doing better than Horden and Eason, Eason Colliery at the moment, Merton. Yeah, there's a very old house, isn't there now? Hi. Aren't there? See where we are, my get the ground. Where is it? I don't know. But that's, that's the... Well, that's the lead, they're not the rest of the lead, you see, that's the lead. Hi. Right. Nice oh, houses up there, though. Yeah. yeah. Hey? Up there? Yeah. Where about Silk Crescent up there? Oh, yeah. Hey then. You still want to go and see the Hill Crescent, eh? Oh, Alright, we can't see it now if you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. Alright, mate. You can't see it now. Yeah, there's a school there, isn't it? Legion. Toft Crescent, Kane was on a mission to find Hill Crescent. I still don't know why. Why Hill Crescent again? Because that's where my nanny used to live. Nanny ah, Bumba. Aye, nanny used to live. I'm sure you told us three times already. Yeah, uh, like when I was a kid. Toft Crescent. Crescent. It's all changed, like, so. I know. That's the library. Is this a library? Yeah, the library, and then this is Barnes Road. Up there, and then it's just, <coughs> just behind Barnes Road. Yeah, they lived in Barnes Road as well, but. <coughs> Yeah, but I didn't really go to Barnes Road because I was older. Kino, yeah. Kino, yeah. we found Hill Crescent. Which one was your grandma's house? Yeah, just along here somewhere, I can't remember the number. Yeah. Yeah. Some find out. Maybe 36 or something like that. Yeah, so right. Number 7 for sale is down the left hand side. Yeah, 3 down the summit. Yeah. I think it is anyway. I'll say number 10 down there, so... What number is this one, sir? Got a number on this. That can't be. That's it, that might be it. This is the, this is the property for sale. This is the property for sale. Seven years. So for fifteen thousand pound auction price, it's got a brand new roof. If this is the one that's for sale, I know we've gone the other side. We'll do a quick lap round, we'll have a look. I think this is the one that's for sale. Can you know thoughts? 15 grand? Yes, of course. It's gonna, it's gonna cost more than an auction, but you can still get a good bargain. That doesn't look too bad, actually. No, this could be a nice area for somebody. Who wants to relocate? Just behind the terrace, behind the shops, but don't, but no longer exist. Yeah, to so. an old pit village. Yes, yeah, so this, this is definitely the house. 
This is the one that's up for sale, £15,000 at auction price. £15,000 at auction. Not bad. I'm, there's no photos inside, so I have no idea if anybody's living in. Hopefully there's not, because it looks empty. You know, it looks empty to me. A bit of old stuff in the yard. Heading right. up here with Kino. This is where Kino's going to show us the famous place where he got run over. This is where I got run over, just at the top of this corner. He's happy with his, his knockdown <laughs> story. Kino, famous Kino. Yeah, be careful I don't get run over again. Strike, <laughs> strike twice, you know. Lightning can strike twice, yes, right yeah, there. Let's twice. hope he doesn't get knocked over again. He's rekindling his youth. Kino is rekindling his youth. Where this shop was, it was uh, called something else. Yeah? Yeah, so I was it. I was on one side of the road, and my granddad was on the other. And I just led it over to the granddad, and I ran straight into the front of a car. Just banged my head. I obviously wasn't squashed. Yeah. And uh, Never been the same since, have you, mate? Been Jeff since then. I was a Brit. I was just going to say I was very intelligent before that happened. We were only three and a half. <laughs> I'd, have gone on, I'd have gone on to be a scientist, but... <laughs> a brain surgeon. brain surgeon, I could have fixed my own brain because I had a fractured skull. Come on, Kino. Yeah, just around that shop, is there? We're going to go check out the shops down here. Are they all open or are they boarded up? The bookies used to be there, apparently. That's where the yeah, bookies used to be. Yeah. Bookies. Heading down the main road. Yeah, What's the street called? Yeah, the terrace. The terrace, Kino. Yeah, because it's called Woods Terrace. Woods Terrace, really? Yeah, and it's just uh, always been known as the terrace. Oh, very cool. Yeah, you can see here, Woods Terrace. Oh, yeah, Woods Terrace. There you All go. The way down that, that house is just behind here. Kino knows he's met and well. This one's closed down, Kino. Aye. Salvation Army. Uh, as I was saying before, the old uh, court used to be down there on the right. There we go, you're right there. Woods, Woods Terrace. There we go, the old Salvation Army's gonna. Good hairdressers there, as you can see. Anna's. Nice hairdressers. More shops. Are either closed down, we should do, we could do with talking to the locals to see whether or not these shops are closed or what. Because that one, it's four o'clock, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. If you say somebody... Wouldn't you think the shops would be open though? Yeah, they must be closed down, what day yeah. is it? Fashions, Thursday. has the, you know, has Covid hit this, this area big time? Yeah. That in the woods? Tiger Woods' is old shop, there you go. In the woods, yeah. Shops have turned into houses, because these used to be shops I reckon. Probably, or it might have been mixed. Yeah. Property for sale at auction. I think, better this deals. A, I think this was a court over there. Yeah, this, again, yeah, more shops houses. have been turned into houses. That's got no door. Oh no, it's a Halloween, Halloween. Halloween crack. Halloween crack. Couple more border properties, Kino. Aye. We won anyway. Yeah, you'll make a fortune on Halloween again, wouldn't you? How much, did, how, how much did you make last year? I know, I made a fortune. I, I, and I don't even need a mask, do I? <laughs> Keep out, blood all over it. Value? Yeah. He knows right, I don't even need a mask. No, you didn't. That one's gone. Yeah, Empty. One got Empty there. That one's a gunner. I don't know if that one, TJ's Diner. Anybody know in the comments, is TJ Diner still going? Shut us down four o'clock. That one's definitely a gun, Kino. Yeah, that one's gone as well. That's John, a lovely right? house, Woods Terrace House. What's that? It's a nice big house, isn't it? It's funny. Ah, that'd be nice to live in there. Yeah, oh, that's that a good one. property, good property. That Merton Hardware well. looks like it's still in business. Well done, Merton Hardware. I'm thinking the co-op might be where it's green. Yeah, it might have been where it's green. That's closed down, King Road, definitely gone. Oh, that donkey's years ago. They oh, but look at them, man. It's just, it's just no, there's no there's no name above the, the shutters. So that's got a feeling that could, be, could have been the old co-op. Just for some days, mate. I got a feeling. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> There's the old co-op. Oh, the, at least the post office is going good jobs there. Good one, post office. Hello, mate. We're just doing a video on Merton. Uh, grandma used to live here. Like, Pleasant. I've just got some paint of this. Yeah, still here. Uh -huh. Is this the old co-op by any chance? That's the old co-op by. Yeah. And your mum worked there. You started them things going above, didn't it? They uh, used to put something in the oh, uh, lines going above. Yeah, there was like a uh, conveyor belt going above sort of thing, wasn't there? Like a shoot, you put the money in. I think a shoot, maybe his eye. Uh, you put a shoot, you put your money in the shoot, they used to go to the cashier yeah. and see if send the chains back through the shoot. Yes, uh, did it used to be high up or? Yeah. Uh, I can just remember something burning above my head where they used to... What's your name? Derek. 
Derek, we talked to Derek here on the main road. He says that the, the, the problems with the, this main road where all the shops closing down is Dalton Park, of course. Dalton Park makes total sense. Dalton Park, all these shops now. So yes, here on Merton High Street, you can see a lot of shops are closed down. And this is the problem with Dalton Park opening up. Dalton Park opens up, takes away the business from the high street. And all these shops now, we've got a lovely high street here. You know, Kino's still yapping on. It's all been done up really nice, but unfortunately, a lot of shops have closed down. A lot of shops have closed down up here in Merton. So John has been talking to his mate, Brian, who just met, but he, he knows a lot of people from Pete Lee. He says the reason because of all of this is Dalton Park. Dalton Park opens up, it takes away business from the, the yeah. main shopping street, doesn't it? Makes sense. Yeah, that's why they're all gone. I think they were going to go anywhere, like eventually, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that probably hastened the... Uh, quickens it up, yeah, doesn't the it? Shore, doesn't it? That hastened the show, I think. We need to find this pub where, this, uh, where, the, where the picture was made of the old oak. Yeah, they're all crawling in down there on the right. Am I get a pint down here, King, though? Aye, if you find it. <laughs> Aye. Right. So there we go. More shops here, as you can see. What are the places that's open? Is it hairdressers? Hairdressers. There's another one. Isn't yeah, lots of hairdressers are open. The florist's doing well, King, though. Oh, the florist in the grocery shop. That looks good. Sells eggs. Aye, the florist. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Oh, Tantastic's open. Dick's yeah, closed though. Alright, Dick is closed. Oh Dick, Dick. Smoky, smoky mirrors, Katie's Bucky. Alright. That's open. There's a few shops open still though, but a lot of shops are closed down. Another barber mate, another barber. Barbers and hairdressers everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. There's Marino's kebab house, that's open. And obviously the funeral director be having good business. Yeah, there's another one just up the top. Alright, the few in there. We're here we're outside the Dalton Park Inn. It looks as if it's still open, but we're not sure because it shut us down and it's in a... It's a Thursday. This looks as if it's closed down, John. John's gagging for a pint. He's gagging for a pint. As you can see. Looks like it could have been a nice place. Yeah, it looks as if it's closed down, Mario. Doesn't right. it? Yeah, the shutters wouldn't be up, would it? it would be nice bee garden as well. What a shame. What a shame. Look at this. It'll be a nice bee garden. Yeah. Best, nice and here in the summertime. It's quite nice. Looks like it's closed down. I don't know, but that would have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's, it's probably closed down, otherwise, the shutters, unless they uh, just put the shutters up. We'll have a look further up the street and find this pub, the old oak. Not gonna get a pint in there, John. Yeah. You're not gonna get a pint no, in there, mate. You're yeah, yeah. gonna save your money, aren't you? Yeah, you're dry, you're dry, you're getting dry. I thought you might get your wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the cobwebs away, clean the cobwebs away. Get your wallet out for the lad. Look around the back of it. Nah, there's no way in there. It's closed, John. So I found the old Victoria pub where the movie was made by Ken Roach. Ken Roach. On the left-hand side. This is it, the Victoria that was called the Old Oak. The Old Oak, it's out at cinema now, or might be on DVD. Streaming services and all that malarkey. I'm sure this is it. This is definitely it, Ken Roach. On the left-hand side, that one. Yeah, that one there. That's where the movie was made. We'll try and have a look inside and get inside somewhere. So here we are. This is where the movie was made. Where the movie was made, as you can see inside. There's no pints there today. The old oak. This is where they would have went in. You can see it's there. Uh, Definitely closed down now. Can you go on the back of it? It's a Ken Roach movie, The Old Oak. I'll we'll have to watch that. Seems canny. Ah, as you can see, locks on the door. The Old Oak. 
The Victoria, formerly known as the Victoria. Some barrels there. Maybe some free BBs. It's a good old building, that would a waste. Good old building. Windows smashed up there as you can see like usual. Kano likes a good chat. Kano loves a good chat. He does love a good chat. I want somebody in there, but it's not, it's, it's a nice reflection. Shame we can't get in, unfortunately. Big old building though, a nice big old building. Oh, you can get in this way. This is the, the old old pub. Get behind it, you got locks on one side, but the other side you can get in. So it's okay, we'll have a, we'll have a wander around. Oh, you can't, this is a car park car park okay there's no way of getting in unfortunately so I can climb up here there we go be a nice bee garden it's dear that nice bee garden let's go find some food I'm bloody starving can you know we anybody that's better so what were you telling her yeah, she recognised me face like she thought uh, yeah, she might have seen us over there isn't it? the King's Head village and show them up and this is like, ah, oh, she just, I've, I've just got one of them, the faces you can't forget. But you were telling us when we went, I can have a good conversation about when you got knocked over. I was telling her, I was telling her I got one over. Yeah, uh, like I'll show you again if you want. <laughs> Why? 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 You tell everybody you got knocked over, but yeah, you told that Bob Wilson. Oh, Jockey Wilson, he got knocked over as well. Yeah, Brian Wilson or something. Or Brian Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's one of the beach boys, eh? We're trying to find a fish and chip shop at our tea, but unfortunately we're not having much luck. Everywhere seems to be closed down at the moment. There's a pizza house down here. Fancy uh, a pizza? No, I'm not a pizza. No, uh, not a pizza man, no. Nah. Nah. Make a bit of salami. Yeah, you too. Make a bit of sausage. <laughs> yeah, you might get a piece of this if you don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this should be still pretty close, Kano. We've yeah, got to try and find somewhere. About it. She didn't know nah. it was She didn't even know it was open. So maybe yeah. it's close still. I'm bloody starving. My stomach thinks we thought it's been cut. Yeah, yeah, it's fish and chips and Chinese restaurant. Fish and chips and Chinese restaurant, it's open. Should we go and see if we can sit in there and eat them? Alright, would you rather do that? We're going to have a look inside, Jordy. Yeah, it looks nice in here. Look better before we put all this stuff in. Alright. It wasn't something ugly before. Quite Chicken nice. curry and boiled rice for me. Chicken curry and boiled rice. So I'm going to have chicken Maryland. So, yes, we're here in Dalton Park Fish and Chip Shop. And it's a Chinese now, it's a Chinese, but they do sell English food as well. So, nice big open shop. Looks quite nice in here. I've ordered a couple of things for the menu. We'll go and see what, nice, yeah, we'll go and see what Kino, Kino's ordered. Yeah. We're at Dalton Fish and Chip Shop, but they don't sell fish and chips. Kino, what have you got? I've just been stung and it's not by a wasp. What? How was that? Because like, it was your turn and you've only got your card and it's cash only. Kino always carries cash. I always put a 20 pro note in me the phone cover. And that's save the day. I'm going to go to the back and get you some money, Kino. Don't no, worry I'll about just, this. I'll just catch you next time. No, no, that's what you'll do me about that. What have you got in here, Kino? <laughs> chicken curry and boiled rice. Chicken curry, I've got chicken Maryland. Chicken Maryland, eh? I've got no idea what's in that. I don't know. He said it was nice, so I thought I'd go for it. Aye, I, I forget what it is. Seven pounds seventies for chicken Maryland. Aye, I forget what one of them is. I used to get one, that one down Horton. Nice. Yeah, uh, down Cosford Park. I used to get a chicken Maryland, but I can't remember yeah, exactly We'll review this food in a minute. Aye. It's a shame they didn't have any uh, any alcohol, because I could have bought, I could have bought us a couple of, couple of cans, can you know? And I think you've spent enough, though, Terry. <laughs> 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 Cheers. Well, good one, eh? <laughs> so we've got chicken Maryland. Sure there's uh, sausage in it, the sauce. Probably some chips. You've got chips. Yeah, chips. And we've got this gravy, I think. Gravy or curry sauce, whichever sauce you want on it. Sausage, maybe? Chicken? Ooh. Part of the sausage. There's all sorts in there. Yeah. And licorice. Licorice. Licorice, yeah. Chicken. Chicken at the bottom as well. 
and a bit of a chips and gravy. Bloody starving as well, you know. Nice, that came up. Very nice. Right. Yeah, the curry sauce is lovely. Is it? Yeah, absolutely lovely. And the piece of chicken, really nice. Looks spot on that. Yeah. We'll try this and get stuck into this. Try some chicken. So it's worth the money you haven't paid for it, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Fifteen pounds, is it? Fourteen something? Fourteen thirty. Mm. What's that sound? You like pineapple? Yeah, Sausage. Yeah, the pineapple's better than all that, isn't it? So. Mm. It's red hot, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, two bits of bacon, two sausages, two bits of chicken, two pineapple rings, big bag of chips, nice portion of gravy. He knows curry sauce is gorgeous. Very nice, huh? Mm. Mm. Gravy is superb. Oh. The chips do taste better than they look. Mm. Your curry sauce is nice, Kano. Yeah, you can get some more if you want. <coughs> nice, Kano. Lovely. Yeah, lovely. Very nice. Check some down later. I tell you what, that curry sauce is gorgeous. <coughs> Kino, you, you, you've left some. Yeah, just a couple of crumbs that's all. Oh, can't leave stuff, man. Just a couple of sharp bits, <laughs> that's all I've left. Mm. Mm. Nice, is it? It's lovely, is it? Mm. Can you? So it's so nice because it's on me, isn't it? <laughs> tastes, tastes extra special on somebody else's box. <laughs> yeah. I'll pay you back. Oh, you will, all right. <laughs> I'll make sure of that. Oh, Nagus, man. Nagus, I'll come round yours now. <laughs> all right. See you, Johnny. All right. All right, Nagus, I might get a little sip of uh, your pot, actually, you know, just. It's a tiny bit sick. Should have bought you one. <laughs> hey, thanks for that, you too. Who drink my pop? <laughs> out of ten, can you know out of ten? Out of ten for this? Yeah. Close to a nine. Oh, really? Wow. I'll go for eight and a half because. Oh, tremendous. I'll go for eight and a half because uh, nine's almost perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Nice one, nice one, Kano, I guess. So, we've come out of the chippy. Nine and a half out of ten. Eight no. and a half out of ten. Eight and a half to nine. 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 Chicken Maryland, probably not my thing. I'll give it a go. 
on hindsight, probably not I, your stuff. I probably would have liked Kano's yeah. more. His looked really nice, and he gives a couple of chips and it tasted really nice. The curry sauce was the curry sauce to me was I nine out of ten. Well. No, it was nine out of ten for the curry sauce. Chicken Maryland. Well, I want to give it. I'm going to be honest. I have to be honest. It was a clean, nice, friendly the shop. Yeah. The guy serving was really friendly. Good service. Top quality service. Kano's was fucking nine out of ten for me. But mine, Chicken Maryland, I'm going to give it six and a half. Six and a half. Like I said, no, uh, it, it's yeah, it's nice. It's okay. Things, yeah. yeah, it's okay without being, <coughs> you know, nice, should we say. But at the end of the day, we all like different things. But I would recommend going there. Definitely recommend going there. Get yeah, some decent Dalton food. Dalton fish, Dalton, Dalton fish and chip shop. They don't sell fish and chips anymore. Don't sell fish and chips. Huh? But yeah. <laughs> fucking hell, what's that cunt there? That's not a fly thing. That big fucking massive fucking creature on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the hell that's come from. It's definitely not a money spider, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's certainly not one of them, eh? Right? Well, we're going to leave it there. You can get a good property, for, you know, in the area. You probably get, a, I reckon you get for less than 50,000 personally <clears throat> in auction. You get some good bargains at auction. Okay, no, we enjoy the walk around Merton. Now it's finally finished, right. finished win. Yeah, can we just park up again? I hope the car's still there. Yeah, next to the old uh, pitch house. <laughs> <laughs> we met a lad in there as well, watches the other, other videos oh, or something. The videos. Oh, there's a crossy on the side of the road. familiar, actually. Right. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Merton doesn't seem as... Which right. is, doesn't seem as bad as Easton and Colliery and Horden for buildings yeah. being closed down, for, for properties <clears> being closed down. Because I spent quite a bit of my childhood here, today has actually been quite eerie for me. Yeah? I've seen the place where I got run over just in case you can't remember. <laughs> Have you did, you, did you mention that, though? Like? I got run over up here. I was only three and a half and I got a fractured skull. <laughs> just, just, just on the corner where the shop is. <laughs> also, it's not as deprived, that's the word, not as deprived there's other areas in the coastal pit villages. But we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you later. I'll say goodbye, Kano. See you later. And cheers for the, cheers for the tea. Goodbye, Kano. I'm doing a runner now. <laughs> <laughs>